Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. Um, I used some new stamp sets that I got at convention uh, from Stamps of Life. And you can see the two sets right there. One is a, a jar with some sentiments and um, another one is all the candy that you can put in the jar. So I started off stamping all these different parts out using VersaFine black ink, which I find to be a really nice ink for clear stamps. Um, you get a really nice solid image. So I'm going to stamp all these different pieces out. I'm going to stamp the top on chocolate chip cardstock by Stampin' Up! And you'll see later why, because I'm going to do a little um, technique on that. So from the other candy set, I'm going to use the um, wrapper, and I'm going to do all the wrappers in black, and I'm just going to randomly stamp them all over this jar. And I'm not going to worry about going outside the jar because I'm going to cut it out. Um, and then there's a matching piece to this stamp, and it's the inside of the candy. And so I'm using a couple of different VersaFine colors that I got. I'm sorry, not VersaFine, VersaMagic. Um, I'll have the, the names on my blog, but I'm just going to randomly do green and blue. And I'm going to stamp them each twice just so I can get a nice thick layer. And I'm going to cut all these things out. And I wanted the jar to be kind of glossy, and so I just um, poured a bunch of glossy, or actually crystal effects by Stampin' Up! on the paper, and, um, and then I just used a brush to just brush it across. Um, and it came out pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. And um, you'll see that it comes right off my mat, my craft mat here, here which is by uh, Ranger. It's a Tim Holtz craft mat. And then I went to the sink, and I didn't show that, but I... Um, washed my brush off right away and the crystal effects came right out so it was actually easy to use. So I'm taking this brown piece and I'm spraying both sides with just plain water and I'm let it soak in and I'm going to crumple it up and then I'm going to uncrumple it. I'm going to do this really carefully because you really don't want your paper to tear and then I'm going to do it again. And what you end up with is kind of like a leathery sort of canvas looking thing and when it dries it's very cool because it's got a, a lot of texture to it. So it looks like I kind of put something, like some kind of fabric over the jar, and I'm going to put some string around it. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my background, which is this new Hero Art stamp set that I just got. Well, not yet, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the sponge sugar, and I'm going to apply my ink with an ink applicator. And there's a tutorial on my blog on how I do this. So if you want to go to my blog in the right-hand margin, you'll find the tutorials link, and just click that, and you'll be able to find it. Anyway, so I'm going to cover the whole thing with sponge sugar, and then I'm going to take this new Hero Arts Sweet Threads background stamp, and I'm going to use sponge sugar on it. So I'm going to get a tone-on-tone -tone look, because I wanted it to be pretty subtle, because if you're going to have um, a pretty bright focal point, which is my candy jar, I wanted it to be kind of a subtle background so it didn't take away focus. And uh, next I'm going to take a Stampin' Up! marker, Early Espresso, and I'm just going to freehand a line down. Just kind of hold your breath as you go down. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's kind of the point of it. Okay, so I'm just going to let those pieces dry for a little bit and come back. Uh, this is some Baker's Twine by Stampin' Up! I'm just going to wrap it around. This is kind of a shortcut. And then I'm just going to tie a bow with another piece which I actually did a couple of times because I just wanted it to be right. I wanted the, the pieces to hang down at the bottom and you know sometimes it gets twisted and it goes up. Anyway, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to just take a mini glue dot and I'm going to uh, adhere it right there to the side. So it looks like I wrapped it around and tied it, but I actually cheated. And I just put the bow right on top. Okay, my sentiment, well, the little jar label is going to be um, adhered using some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. And I'm going to take uh, my ATG gun. I'm just going to put some flat adhesive onto uh, four and a half, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half inch folded piece of cardstock. And then I started applying foam adhesive to this and I decided not to do that. And I ripped it off and I just used some runner, tape runner to tape it to the top of that. Uh, because I wanted to put the dimensionals across the whole thing and wanted it to be even. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to put it right there in the middle. And then um, I'm going to trim off that uh, 
Baker's twine and then I have another sentiment I'm going to put on the inside from the same candy set and I'm going to use VersaFine ink. It worked really well with these stamps. I was really happy with it. And that's it. So it's a pretty simple card this week. It looks really cool because it's all glossy. If you want to see some pictures, you can go to my blog. And that's it. So hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.